Well, White House officials have said that the ceasefire talks aren't moving forward, but one Egyptian official familiar with the ongoing negotiations here in Cairo has told CNN that there are still wide differences in the positions of Israel and Hamas. Now, one of the key areas of disagreement remains the presence of Israeli troops on the Philadelphia corridor, a buffer zone between Egypt and southern Gaza. Now, Israel had previously presented a map of where they would like to see Israeli troops stationed along the corridor during the first phase of the proposed ceasefire agreement, which would see a six-week pause in fighting. However, this initial proposal was, according to sources, viewed as a non-starter by Egyptian mediators. Now, Israel has presented a revised proposal with a reduced number of Israeli troops and military posts on the corridor. And this proposal has now been transmitted by Egyptian mediators to a Hamas delegation here in Cairo, suggesting that Egyptian mediators view this proposal as somewhat more serious and potentially more acceptable to Hamas. Now, it is important to note, however, that Hamas officials have previously rejected any suggestion of a long-term presence of Israeli troops within the Gaza Strip. And, of course, there remain other key sticking points on the proposed deal, including conditions surrounding the release of Palestinian prisoners from Israeli jails and the free movement of Palestinians from southern Gaza to the north. Hamas officials have said that they are still in favor of reaching a deal, but have stated that they wish to see a deal which reflects the proposal put forward by U.S. President Joe Biden in late May, a deal which they say they agree to in early July. But the organization has criticized Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for presenting new conditions which they say are aimed at undermining the three-phase deal currently on the table, adding that Israeli officials have not provided guarantees for a permanent ceasefire. Now, under the terms of the proposed deal, the first phase would see a six-week pause in fighting with a proposed transition to a permanent ceasefire in the second phase. However, in late June, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told local media that while he is ready to agree to a partial deal, his government remains committed to continuing the war after a temporary pause. And there is no indication that Israel's position has changed since. But with Hamas officials now in Cairo, there are hopes that we may see some positive developments in the progress of the talks. But it remains to be seen whether the gaps in the deal can be narrowed and whether Hamas will agree to engage directly in negotiations through Egyptian and Qatari mediators here in Cairo on Sunday. Nadir Bashir, CNN in Cairo.